What up everybody, it's your boy the Infinite Dragon here, and today we're going to react to Susie's argument with friends be like. Probably can relate to this a lot, because I have a friend who I play Yu-Gi-Oh with, I know, I'm a total fucking loser. Um, and we always argue about the rules and stuff like that, and so, uh, both of us are kind of stubborn because neither of us want to lose, so it's kind of hard to, like, just accept that you just took an L. Like, no one wants to take an L, right? Uh, without further ado, let's just get into it. Don't you just love getting into arguments with your friends? We're having a civilized conversation, talking all normal, and all of a sudden people start talking like this! And why can't we always think of the best comebacks for an argument? After the fact, after yep. Up, the argument is over. Yep. And I know you've had people try to suck you into those pointless arguments, like if aliens exist, or if the Illuminati is real. Like, what are you gonna do with the rest of your day that you weren't gonna already do? Knowing the aliens are real. Because at the end of it, you're gonna believe what you believe, I'm gonna believe what I believe, but now you wanna fight. And believe me, you don't want this problem. I beat Smash Brothers on hard mode. You don't want this problem. Okay. Smashed. All right, Smooth. Matrix 99 times. Matrix is my Today, favorite movie. 100%. You don't want this problem. Speaking of Matrix, I got in an argument one time about Matrix? Over Matrix. Her favorite okay. was racism! If we were out eating and the table next to us got their food first, racism! She's playing a game online and she loses, racism! I do that as a joke. If I play so the rest card, it's mine 90% a joke. Hollywood is full of racism. Even your precious movie, Matrix, is full of racism. All right. You see, I am well versed in anything that I like, so don't let right. me right. try my life. Yeah, uh, I'm like well, that. What you don't know is the directors of Matrix stole the idea from a black lady and she won in court. However, comma, I'm positive that the whole movie is not some symbolic racism Race. poke. And her aunts, uncles, and cousins were all at the house. And if you pull me into an argument, be very, very careful because Barry? nine times out of nine, I already have evidence to prove you wrong, but I'm gonna let you dig your hole deeper and deeper. <laughs> Low key, I'm over here, Birdman and Rub, because I'm about to drop a bomb on all these turkeys. Neo's supposed to be Jesus. Guess who they got to play Neo? Keanu! Racism! You just don't see it because you're an Uncle Tom, Adonde. And I love when they start making personal attacks on you. What, anyways. So yeah, I let them go on like this for like 15 or 20 minutes. And then I drop, oh yeah? Matrix is racist? Guess who was one of the first people they offered the role of Neo? Will to? Smith. Will flipping Smith. How I know. Boom. Drop the mic. Who's your daddy? Me. I showed them some videos All right. of Will Smith's wife talking about how he got the role. And he turned it down. This other time, I was in an Uber with my friend, and I don't know how we got on the topic, but then they said, yeah, when you die, it was your time to go. So I'm like, what? Yeah, but no. There's no such thing as accidental death. When it's your time, it's your time. And sometimes when people sense during a debate that their argument is flimsy, they'll get all personal for no reason. Well, when I was a little kid, people broke into my house. They put a gun to my head and a knife in my mouth. But then they let me go because it wasn't my time. Okay, right. that's nice that they let you go. Um, and I'm sure we, you're a big I don't want to argue about destination this. Movies, but I don't think death is on some schedule. And they look at the calendar like, oh. <laughs> Time to kill him! When it's your time to die, it's your time to go! No exceptions! So you're saying death is predetermined on a time schedule, and there's no exceptions? Hmm, okay. Um, what if we're speeding along in this Uber, and I open the door and jump out, and the car behind us runs me over? Does that mean it was my time? If that's how you see things, cool. I disagree with your theory, and I'm gonna look down at my phone now. And the worst part about all this is when you lose friendships just because you don't see things the way they see things. Ah, it's the rap that's enemy. Not smart. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people, that's great. But think of the benefits by having a few people around who don't think like you. That's all I'm saying. Right. All right. All right, guys. That was good. That was good. He makes. He always makes like the best points. Um. 
Yeah, expanding your circle and having people that don't think like you is a really important thing. Because you get to experience the world through their eyes. You get to you get their experiences and stuff like that. And that's a very important thing to have because you need to learn about the world, especially the world that you're living in. And if you always if you find yourself in an argument with someone who won't listen to what you're saying, nine times out of ten, um, that person is just is either stubborn or they're stupid, and what you should do in situations like that is you should just say, okay. <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't know you were actually listening. Nine times out of ten, you just say, okay. Just say, okay. It's not worth fighting and putting all that energy into it. Um, that's about it, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video or whatever. If you guys like the video, give it a like. Original video is in the description down below. Live stream Friday. I don't know what we're going to be doing, but we're probably going to do something and expect the live stream to be terrible because this, the school Wi-Fi here is trash. I'm going to see what I can do about it, but it's trash. Um, that's about it, so later.